How's it going guys and welcome back to the False Tech YouTube channel. So in this video I'm going to be creating something that I've done in the past um, but I just didn't do it in a way where people could follow it easy. Um, it's, not as, it's not as easily or not as clear as I intended it to be. So I want to do an updated update video on this and I want to just go over the steps and how to do this. I've got a lot of questions in this so we're going to go ahead and begin. So there's two things that you need for this. You'll need a Dropbox account as well as an account using file link. Um, so for you'll go to dropbox.com and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm in incognito because I'm already logged in to this on the um, Google browser behind it. But you'll see this. If you don't if you have an account, go ahead and log in. If you don't have an account, click on the create an account. You'll then put in your you'll then put in your first name, your last name, your email, your password. Once you put this information in you'll be uh, brought into the Dropbox UI and I'll show you that in a moment. You also want to log into file link so go ahead and click that sign up button it'll bring you here put your name your email your password confirm your password and go ahead and hit that I am not a robot if you are a robot I would uh, recommend you not hit that unless you want to be sneaky but uh, that's that's your prerogative. Um, once you're logged into both file link and droid admin well so once you're logged into file link and Dropbox it'll look something like not like this this is audacity so it'll look something like this uh, this is file link so you'll see your name and you'll see this you don't have any configurations yet to get started create a new configuration so uh, we'll do that in a moment and your Dropbox will look like this you won't have files in it but I'm going to show you how to get these I went ahead and copied these in I haven't done anything else but copied these and I'll show you how to do that the reason I did that is because my internet here is pretty bad and I don't want to waste time and don't want to have to sit here and wait while I'm talking through the video. So in this example, I used a movie movie HD app. It's basically an app you can go to and watch tons of movies, tons of apps, new movies, old movies, um, new releases. They have just about everything there. It's one of my favorite apps. So, um, and I'm going to show you how to get that. What I did is I just googled movie HD APK, and when you googled that, you'll see this right here. What I did was I clicked on the first link. One thing to note, guys, in my last video, I said it'll be um, safer if you use the actual website for the apps. Um, to clarify that, there is no safe way to do this. And I say safe meaning secure. So if you're going to be putting this on the NVIDIA Shield, I'd recommend that you have, you don't really have anything stored on NVIDIA Shield, such as uh, personal data, any photos, videos, or anything, because with any app that's not in the Google Play Store, it's not a secure, secured, and it's not a um, app that's been approved. There are they, there are risk, so um, that's one of the things you have to look out for. If you're downloading any third-party apps on the Nvidia Shield, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't recommend this on your phone. But if you're going to be doing it on your Nvidia Shield, make sure you don't have any personal information because that can be used or can be taken. Uh, now that you know that, you'll click on the uh, APK here if you still want to go forward and do this. I don't have any personal data on my NVIDIA Shield, so I, I why not put it on there? So once I'm here, uh, you see all these links. Do not click any of these. These are just ads. Um, how you can tell is this blue triangle. Um, it's by ad choice. So we're just going to scroll down. Another blue triangle. And here's where we want to be. And I went ahead and clicked on this guy, Movies HD APK. That's in my downloads folder. I'll go ahead and show you that now. Let's go to my downloads folder. All right, so uh, so here's my downloads folder. I have the APK as well as Movies HD. Those are the two that we're going to be using in this example. So um, with Droid Admin, you're going to need the actual app, which is the APK file, and you're you're going to need an image for that app as well. And that's where I got this. And how I got this is uh, pretty similar. So all I did here, guys, is I just Googled Movies HD, and I made sure I had the images checked, and it brought up all these images. All I did was I found this one. I like this one a lot, so I right-clicked on it, Save Image As, and that's what you see in my Downloads folder, which is right here. And now that you have the APK, which is the app, and the image, you can then copy both of these into Dropbox, which I've already done. But I'll, I'll show you exactly what I did. I went to my downloads folder. I just click 
and I control click that just copies that basically selects multiple if you have control selected on your uh, keyboard and you can just drag it and drop it here and that will drag it and drop it into the drop box once it's here you'll it'll see something like this so for me this is just an example I did remove my app stores from my droid admin I'm gonna be recreating it but I just don't have time right now but uh, once you have these here what you want to do is we need to first share these out and get a link now I'll show you something about the link and this will really help you determine if you can d do downloads from the link so your APKs you'll want to click share down here you see create link you'll click create link and you click copy link now one thing about this link is this download and this could be different from other people but for me it gives me a download a DL equals zero which it means basically a view only uh, format so to check and see if this is downloadable I'm gonna copy this open up a new tab paste it in press enter and as you can see it shows me the APK file the problem with this is if you put this into droid admin it will not download it and we need a download link a link where you click it and it starts downloading so what you do is is you change that zero to one and watch what happens when I press enter this time it may take a minute here because my internet is slow but there it is you see it right there downloading so we know that with the one on it that's going to be a good link for us to click and put into file link you can use this test for anything um, there's other ways you can get downloadable links as well um, I read since they read since since file link or droid admin recommends Dropbox that's going to be the method I'm going to be using and I'm also into in the secret again to that is just throwing a one on here and then copy in the link now we're going to go over to file link this is when we can create a new configuration so we're going to do test app store um, description is a test now for yours of course you want to give it the name that you want to use in the description you want people to see um, but for me since this is just a test I'm putting this in here you can also activate custom messages that just means when someone enters your store or goes types in your number a, a pop-up will pop up and they can read that you can add your own logo for your store and you also can add a lock where you can only allow your friends in if you wanted to do that I am just doing a test so I'm going to click save alright and then you'll be prompted with this um, this is your your app store here you can click edit to change it and you can start adding files here I'm going to be adding a file so I'm going to click add files and you can set up categories I'm not going to go through that with the, in this video but you can set up tons of different categories for your uh, apps you can do games movies shows I would recommend you experiment with that if you want to check that out I like just having mine in a list because so for me I use my droid admin store for a means of uh, downloading all the programs I need such as if I redo my shield I'll have everything ready that's the kind of things I want to use that for so for here we'll do movies HD Yeah. movies HD and you can throw this in the optional download URL that's gonna be the one we had earlier so let me grab that again DL equals one that's the only way it will work we'll put that there now the logo we don't really have to download equals one this can be a view only copy because the logo we're not gonna be downloading it's just gonna be a view a view copy so for the logo we'll come over here we'll click that share We'll click that create link. We'll copy the link. Copy, copy. We'll go over here. We'll throw that there. And so, the, again, the AP, actual APK has the one on it. The logo has the zero on it. And you can even throw in a tutorial URL for the file, such as if you wanted to walk through people on how to install it or if you had an order they needed to follow. You could do that. We're not going to be doing that in this video. I'm going to click save. Alright guys, so I got the download URL equals one in. We just tested it, it worked just fine. Now with the logo, um, I have tested it and we do need this to be a one. If you have it at zero, the logo will not show up in the app. It'll show up as a uh, basic, basically as if the image is missing. So that does have to be a one. 
if I said prior in this video that it doesn't ignore that I tested it and it does have to be equal to a 1 go ahead and make that change hit save once it's saved we're going to uh, get this on our phone here uh, my shield is too far away and I do not feel like having to go through the hassle of getting a screen capture going um, at least um, not right now so I'm going to show you, show you my phone now and show you how to do this alright guys so I'm now in my phone and what we're going to do we're going to need to download the app first to download the app we want to open up Chrome you want to click on that download file link alright and I already got it downloaded so I'm just going to go into my downloads and grab that here so there it is it'll like this right here now I'm going to hit install and if if you have issues downloading it if you need to um, let's say you click it and it says your phone doesn't support that you'll need to go into your settings and en enable unknown sources um, but if you have that enabled you'll be able to download this um, as you can see it says done and open I'm going to click open alright so it wants us to enter a code now as you see on my computer um, we're going to go back here and it's going to show us our code right here so I'm going to enter in that code on the file link app 318-014-450 so the code is 318-014-50 continue alright and there it is right there the movie the HD uh, logo is there again that requires the equals to one and the APK is here as well now I'm not going to install the app but I will show you I can download it I'm going to hit the download button and you see it's starting to download here it may take a minute there it is now you got a play button I'm going to click the play button and it will just uh, install unknown sources. I'm going to go to settings, enable that, go back, and there it is right there. Moves HD. Cancel or install. Since this is my phone and I have personal data on here, I'm not going to be installing it. But if you hit the install and you have this on your shield, it'll start installing it. Then you can then launch the app and start watching movies and shows. So this will work for any app. So you can do movies, games, um, anything that's third party, you can put in here. You'll have your access to your own store on your shield. It's really awesome, very easy to do, and basically you'll just rinse and repeat. You'll do this as many times as you want to get the apps that you want. Again, let's go over a quick recap of how to do this. So um, you'll find the app. So you'll Google um, you'll Google your app, Mobdro. You'll find the Mobdro website here. You'll download the app. Download. Now it's going to take a while, so I'm not going to sit here and wait. Once it's downloaded, you'll come over to your Dropbox. You'll then drag the app into Dropbox. You'll then look up an, an logo for Mobdro. So let's do that now, Mobdro. We're going to go to Images. Uh, this one looks nice. We'll right click. Save Image As. Save. Alright, you'll go to your file link, or excuse me, your Dropbox. You'll then copy your app. If your app's already there, you'll then copy your image in there. So you'll have two files here, your APK and your image. You'll then click come over here, click share, create link. You'll then copy the link. So after you copy the link, you could then then come over here to file link, add new file, paste your link, change this to a dash one. Then grab your image link, such as um, such as this guy right here. Share, create a link, copy, copy, paste it here. Change that to a one. Name it, save it, and then you'll have that guy ready to download, and you'll be able to see your images very nice and clear on the app as well. So my last video I did on this. I didn't do it the way I wanted to. This video, I'm 100% I'm, I'm satisfied. I walked through every step. I walked through everything that you'll run into. Um, all the issues that you could have is if you follow this to the T, marking the DH, DL equals 1 on both the logo and the APK, 
then you'll have no issues with this. If you notice the images don't show up, then your image may be too large. Um, the image that I used for Movies HD was 312 by 312. I don't recall what the limit is for images, but if you do have issues with your images and you are sure that a DL is equal to 1, then it's going to be the size. Go ahead and find another one within the Google search, which will be something like this. But guys, that's it. That's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this helped you out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and like it. Share it to your friends. We're going to be doing much more of this. i got tons of uh, other NVIDIA Shield videos I'm going to be getting back on to doing. Also 3D printing. Also a few other things um, that I'm not going to mention just yet. But it's looking pretty nice and pretty good. And I'm excited. But again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.